I'm Roy Nydorf. I teach at Guilford College. I've been here for about 34 years teaching. Started living the life of, of an artist, I guess, as a child because my parents were both artists. So I grew up in a house where I was taking lessons with my mother, taking lessons in sculpture at a pretty early age. And I was taking lessons with my father painting and going out and uh, he taught a class on Saturdays painting in the landscape watercolors so I did that and then my mother taught a life drawing class which I attended and uh, also a sculpture class in the home probably from the age of oh gosh I don't know maybe 12 or so um, but I didn't really make the decision I think until just before I went to college. I think the term success is certainly uh, relative to a lot of things, but um, if nothing else, I, I've been busy and active and prolific, and I've made a lot of work. And the show that I'm having is just a fragment, <clears throat> just a, a small fragment of it, actually. But it feels good to look back and see some things that I accomplished that I haven't really been looking at for a long time and, and reflect about you know, how, much, how much a major work kind of takes, how much research and planning and things like that. So that's kind of a pleasant thing to look back and see the work itself and think about it. One of the paintings in the show is a very early painting from around 1970. 677. I had been out of graduate school just recently and I was working on my own in the city of New Haven and um, I pretty much <clears throat> took on this bit, this challenge of painting a, a very large canvas. It's about six by seven feet and it has three people in it. They're standing in a room and they're about life size. <clears throat> looking out the window and so it was a, a, a kind of a complicated task to take these three individuals they were modeling for me independently once they did model together and I uh, put them in this space and it's a very realistic convincing space and so is the world outside the window it's kind of loaded with uh, symbolism and psychological uh, stuff so, but that was a major breakthrough accomplishment for me at the time, and it led me to, I guess it gave me some confidence to, to move ahead and, um, and create some other large-scale compositions that were challenging, to say the least. I, I really hope that people come and see the work in person, because I think that um, when you encounter art in your life, <clears throat> you realize that it, it kind of reaches across lots of boundaries and um, it isn't something, I think meaningful art and the art that I, I make, I, I try to have it be meaningful and that it, it isn't something that can be easily reproduced to get the whole experience of it. So I hope that people come and encounter it and uh, spend some time looking at it and reflecting on it. That's it.